is a Saturday. Today is the day of the Land Rover. I'm not sure if that's actually what it's called. I'll put it here. What it's actually called. Um, we are here with Chaz's dad, who has a Land Rover Lightweight, circa 1973, I believe. It's kind of in the back. Look out. So this is our second day here, our first day, Friday, yesterday. But uh, that video is likely already up and complete. It really was just a chill day. We were exploring the trails a little bit, taking some people around who don't know the trails as well. It was a lot of fun. Everyone did absolutely fantastic. And it was really cool to see some rigs out there that weren't Jeeps. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you wanna check out that video, it will go ahead and be linked. This whole little Land Rover expedition will also be in a little playlist, which will be down, which will, which will be down below. Cool. So join us today for some sweet Land Rover action. I don't know. I have no idea what we're doing, so let's see. <laughs> bye bye. Two rows over there. Yeah. Woo. 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 We can do the soup bowl a bunch of times. Then, then we will we will watch people do it. We will likely get to watch people do really, really stupid things. So That's, me. Join them, join them, That's me. That's me. I'm the stupid oh. things. Chaz is here for the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of things. These are four service roads, obviously, they're gravel. We want to be very, very careful with our speed. We also want everybody to run your headlights once we pull out of here. Uh -oh. And so that you can see the other person behind you. I have you a flashlight. You see you because it's there's going to be a lot of dust that's here coming at us. And as you all know from gravel roads, corners, sides, everything else can be a little bit tricky. So drift. Take care of yourself. And so I had I had four wheel drift yesterday on the other thing turn. Is, is oh, the I only had two on. If the headlights in your mirror disappear, that likely means what? You need to slow down or stop. The guy behind you or the gal behind you is no longer with you, and so what you want to do is stop being a dumb. slow down or stop, and everybody can lock up. If they need to, they can put the, they can do their, they can lock, put their dip locks in, set uh, uh, the differentials, the whatever you need to do. To <laughs> That's the little lever. Oh, oh, right. Pull over for a moment, for a moment so you can get that done, and then we're going to get going again versus pull over for a minute, stand thing, around and walk, talk for 25, and then go. So it'll be pull over, get ready, and go. Oh, yes, so I don't fall out. I don't think about that. Call it the party button. There's going to be a couple of areas where you'll need to be spotted which means you may need some help getting over an obstacle. Spotting is only effective you if you actually so listen you to the person wildly? who's telling you what to do. <laughs> well, so, we'll general, so what we like to do is if you don't want to be spotted, or just radio. you don't want somebody to spot so you, say, I got this, and we'll take pictures. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Video's <laughs> better. You gotta have both. You gotta have both. Or, that way you get the full or you can listen to the person that's trying to help you and then blame them later if it goes wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. <laughs> Chaz, are you I spotting think, him? Yeah. Are you taking notes? Yeah. Or would like to offer a little something? <laughs> Tap the horn if you have any. Air down. Tap the horn yeah. if you have any. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Other than that, what we like to do is kick out the moderate group with Stephen, these first two rows here. Oh, that's, Let that's Stephen. The guy in the black shirt with a handlebar. Later, we'll, that's with the bond. Yeah, that's yeah. the guy I've been talking to. Oh, Please cool. don't go back inside that building and get in a line for 25 uh, because we will not be here. No plates. No plates. No plates. Yeah. All right, then no let's go have fun. Thank you.
are on Wolf's Den. Everyone is doing absolutely awesome. Chaz's dad and his lightweight is up front. Then we got Chaz. And then me. And then behind me, I've got D90, 110, D90, Disco. For all you manual drivers out there, I guess pro tip, I'm sure y'all already know this, so this won't come as a surprise. If you know this already, just never mind, skip ahead. So whenever I stop pretty much because I'm on 37s, I never trust my e-brake. So I'll put it, in, put it in the opposite gear of wherever I'm facing. So right now I am, if my brakes were to go, I'd roll downhill. So I'll turn it off, put it in first gear, park the brake on. And then I'll feel more comfortable about that. that we rode with yesterday already did these trails so they are they're straight up pros man yeah so we're just gonna wander along and uh, I'll I'll take some cool footage you know if I can but ultimately we're in a group of like 15 or so jeeps so you know I don't want to be that person that's like oh no stop this looks cool you know so anyways what you see is what you get I'm trying to be Consider it trail.
are just hanging out. I want to pose a question. I've been meaning to do more of this, and this seems like a great opportunity. So if you've wheeled you are, what have you wheeled it in? And if you are from this group, this little Land Rover takeover, what vehicle were you in and how did it go? Did you come back again? What did you like about this park if this was the, your first time here? But yeah, if you were here, what vehicle were you in and what did you think of the event? You know, feel, feel free to comment below. Um, you know, let people know what you thought. Hopefully you guys all want to come back. And if any of you are local and you want to come back or you want to camp or you want to do more of the trails here, definitely let us know because Chaz and I and the Yellow Jeep, yeah, if, if you, you know, do you want to come back, let us know. We're here fairly often. So it's a little hard to see and unfortunately I can't really really zoom in but they're having the rovers kind of ride the right side and it's so slippery that the rear of these discos keeps sliding sideways and it's making me uncomfy you know what these guys have guts You know, we came down here last night in the dark, so yeah. it hasn't changed much. No, it hasn't. Okay. So, with that, I've gotten to the bottom of Falls Dam. Chaz and Papa Frick already headed back to the campsite. I'm with the rest of the group. Uh, I was just making sure, you know, take it low and slow and make sure the people behind me, you know, were safe and knew what they were doing and all that good stuff. So, we're going to roll on our way back. Probably won't take a whole lot more footage. I mean, when I get back, I'll probably, you know, check in with Jazz and his dad and get their thoughts on the day, etc. But, uh, yeah, enjoy just some montage footage of the Uari access roads. A defender up there um, and his coil pack he keeps overheating so then I have to cool it down so he's having a hard time it'll crank but it won't really catch so we're just taking a, a little rest on the way back but I don't know if anything else happens I'll let you know but this might be it so we've decided on a tow no worries there are a couple gentlemen uh, one, one of the group leaders for this is, is going to help him out but this is, this is a really important note. There is nothing wrong with a toe, a little helping hand, winching. Do what you gotta do. 
just don't don't hurt yourself don't hurt your vehicle you know just be safe